horrid. I'm laughing because of a uh, cute baby squeals in the uh, back seat. Um, Alright, so I wanted to update y'all. Um, so, learning how to communicate with the universe and signs and synchronicities and serendipities. Um, so, they, uh, the way signs work with me is I receive signs from the universe as like confirmation, encouragement, um, and I've said mine are usually more physically visual, um, not like I close my eyes and I see something, but more so, um, like Instagram posts, emails, billboards, vehicles, more visual and stuff like that, or hearing it from somebody, um, and then it'll be repeated a couple times, um, to really get my attention. Um, and so, as y'all know, I've been getting the twin signs and the Oprah signs. And so, for me, when I do get the message, the signs stop. Like, so the, uh, the video ones, all those emails and then, um, you know, um, as soon as I started posting more videos on here, those, those emails just, they no longer spam my inbox. Um, they were just to get my attention. The, um, all the gun ones for booking my trip to Kauai, as soon as I booked my trip to Kauai, they stopped. And then the car rental ones started, but it only took me one to listen and book the car rental. Um, so now that'll stop. But um, as far as the twin stuff and the Oprah stuff, apparently I have not received the message. And the universe knows that um, if it does come in via like an Instagram post or a Facebook post or something like that, sometimes I'm kind of like, eh, is it really, or did it just hear me saying it? You know, because our or like our phones, if they if they hear us say something, it'll pull up an advertisement or something for us. So sometimes I'm a little, I, not sometimes I am kind of like a disbeliever if it comes up that way, where I'm like. Mm, is that a sign or did it just hear me? Um, and cute baby sings it. So apparently I have not received whatever the message is um, for both twins and Oprah. So any of my guesses have been incorrect. Um, if it's something that I need to take action on, I can ask the universe for more clarity, more guidance. Um, what exactly am I supposed to do? Or if it's just letting me know something is coming up and just trust whatever it is. Um, and I don't know. But I wanted to show you the two the two ways in which um, these signs immediately popped up the day that I left you guys. Uh, um, Julia Oliver had wanted to know, like, what, uh, what did those signs mean? The, the twin signs and the over signs. Talking about them, and I did, and I thought that you know maybe Oprah is going to discover me, and maybe I'm being presented with people that are like twins and their challenges, and, and I don't know, maybe it still could be um, based on the the twin sign that I'm about to share with you. But um, at the same time, I don't know, so. I'm going to share these with you and then I'm going to ask the universe for some more clarity and guidance on what on earth they're trying to tell me with this whole twin thing and Oprah thing. So this is the twin one. Oh, and I hear my, my daughter's beautiful voice back there playing in her car seat. Um, so this is a text from my mom and as you can see it says twin. So I don't know if it's comparing like my friend Kari and my mom as 
twins, twin flames, twin souls. Um, and I guess then if I'm right, then that'll stop. Um, I do not know. But there's that one. And then let's see if this one showed up. And it did. So for all of you who watch Netflix, um, if you try to screenshot Netflix, it blocks the actual visual of whatever you're watching. I'm guessing due to like copyright infringement or something like that. Um, that's probably likely what it is. But I was watching um, Instant Instant Dream Home, Instant Makeover, Instant. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have the cough. <coughs> um, it's a show on Netflix um, about people in their home and they remake the entire house in like 12 hours and for some reason I've been wanting to watch homeless stuff you know like maybe shopping for my dream home just like I've been having fun shopping for my dream car um, in real life and uh about that one too but uh I was like I'm gonna watch some like home shows well I love like the house hunters um so I might see if I can find those on something but they weren't on Netflix so I picked a couple shows on there there was like million dollar beach house and then this one so of course there's gonna be like drama and stuff because it's a show um not just about the homes um but I'm watching the first episode and at the end of the episode the host says, as she shows the family their new home, this must be what Oprah felt like when she gave up, when she gave away all those cars. This is literally at the end of the episode, and I was just like dying laughing. Like, are you for real? Like, did that really just pop up um, about Oprah? this random show that I'm watching so there's no way like it was heard by my voice you know that triggered that um and I don't know maybe it's just letting me know and reminding me how good it feels to give that could be a possibility too and I do absolutely love to give um so maybe maybe that was it escape rooms um all the things those are just oh my gosh those are so fun um if you guys have done an escape room let me know let me know what you thought I just oh my goodness I just think they're so so much fun and I think it's kind of like the world that we're living in right like we get these little signs and clues and guidance along the way and it's like what you know like what do we do with this to get to the next level, the next clue, the next achievement? <laughs> um, kind of like video games too, another great analogy. But anywho, you know me, I digress. Um, and I was like, well, maybe I'm supposed to gift my last session that I paid for that I did not use today because I took the day off um, with experiencing sinus 
24 hour notice um, but she was very understanding and even though it was last night at like I think 10 30 or something like that um, p.m. she said you know just message me when you're ready to reschedule and I've been feeling pretty good as far as um, I had taken a little break um, things were going pretty good but then shit kind of hit the fan with financial stuff so we worked on that a bit and you know I, I do get really good breakthroughs with the EMDR but even without doing the tapping um, just her magical mojo helps me connect to great aha moments um, and so I um, suggested gifting that session to um, my my friend um, instead and that was based on um, that the uh, the clues the you know my mom being named Donna D-O-N-N-A um, the whole spin thing and my therapist being Donna Morgan D-O-N-A um, and then with Kari's text being right below my mom's and then with me you know realizing the connection with the Oprah thing and how good it does feel to, to give stuff away and I've talked about it before but I'm in one of those buy nothing groups on Facebook and um, they're just fantastic like they're so so great you can go on there and give stuff away that you're not using or done with um, you can ask for stuff and maybe someone locally will have it for you it is just it's so such a cool group and it just feels so good you know rather than like go on um, marketplace and try to sell something it just feels good like I've already paid it I've already paid for it I've already gotten the use out of it or didn't get use out of it but you know now it's just sitting here like I bought a pair of Tom shoes um, which I was so excited for and somebody said they run a little small so size up and I'm usually eight, eight and a half, so I size up to nine. Oh no, Toms are not made for my feet. Um, just way too narrow in the toe box. I couldn't even get them like on. Um, and that was a size nine. And uh, so I was like, oh, okay, well, I should return them. Never got around to it. So I just gifted them on the buy nothing group. It's great. Um, so, anyways, you know, that's one thing about signs is sometimes they keep popping up. Because there's still messages to be received from it. Maybe you already got one message, and another message, and another. But each time, especially with like animal totems, um, maybe each time you look it up, something new comes. Maybe one means like independence and resiliency, and one means playfulness, and one means um, community. Like it could be different each time you look it up. And that's the cool part. Is time it's meant to give you a different message and I just I love that I think that's so magical so the twin thing could still be what I was saying um and having um different twin energies present in my life or um apparently the guy next to me is gonna wave at me no thank you um my luckily my passenger window does not go down so I can't say anything anyways but it's nice when somebody says hi right that's kind of cool um, friendliness. We don't have that anymore. It's cool. It's nice. It's it's nice when people are friendly. Like, we just, we tend to always, like, keep our head down anymore. I, I've, I've noticed that. I know. Welcome to my ADD. Um, it's one of my many, many beautiful gifts, um, with being a storyteller is we don't really say hi to people anymore. And that was really, really cool. Um, it makes you feel good when somebody just says, hey, okay. Um, so, but you can see my judgment immediately go, mm, no, not interested. Like maybe he's not, maybe he's just being friendly and saying hi. And I'm like, oh, wait, that actually feels good. <laughs> so, so funny. Um, but see, we all have those patterns that we default to. <laughs> um, so welcome to my growth in real time again. That's a large part of why I do them on here instead of just like in my living room, in my kitchen, you know just sitting still is because I do this is driving is I've, I've always said driving is very meditative for me um I love it it brings me driving brings me a lot of joy I love driving um 
very peaceful. Sometimes I do this and I, I get to have nice chats. Sometimes I listen to music. Sometimes it's just quiet. Sometimes I listen to audiobooks. It's just... And I, there's always signs, you know, which I, are just so much fun. Um, but I do get them, like, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. As y'all know, too. I'm like, universe like, that's cool. We'll figure out how to communicate with you, no worries, we got this, um, so yes, anyways, as I was saying, I do still think, you know, like, the twin thing, um, and then I love that, because, I mean, Oprah, yeah, I've been talking about color, um, she has interviewed some amazing, amazingly spiritual people on, on her show, um, and that, that big giveaway that she used to have, what's it, Oprah's favorite things, right, um, I think my mom and I actually used to watch that, um, and that was, like, so, it's just, like, all the joy of giving away free stuff, and just, like, oh, see, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> like, the joy on her face, and the people's face, as they, like, receive these gifts, because she's got abundance, and she loves to give it away, and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing, um, and, and I think that was a reminder, too, is how good it feels to give and and see so right here is a license plate since I'm out of light positive see like how amazing is that I love the way the universe communicates like it is just oh my goodness so incredibly beautiful so anyways I think that was a message from that one um I'm just feeling called to you know like I feel like I've broken through. Maybe I saw more to do and that's okay. I'll keep listening to the universe um, with guidance, with the uh, financial abundance and keep learning what makes me happy and what I enjoy spending my time doing and doing that and allowing financial abundance to flow through me in the meantime and that reminder too of how good it feels to give. So, alright. I love you and thanks for listening to my update.